everybody today we'll discuss about lattice design over location analysis using R Studio. Before skipping to analysis, let's say something about lattice design. The use of incomplete block design is among researchers to control random variation in evaluation of uh, trials of many genotypes or varieties. It has been widely used by plant breeders for the evaluation of various uh, genotypes. And <clears throat> the incomplete block design even be useful when there is no factorial type relationship among the treatments and the number of treatments is sufficiently large and when uh, the soil heterogeneity is very high in the experimental site or test site. In many breeding uh, programs, the number of treatments may be large, around maybe 80, 100, even 200, 300. And also as the block get, uh, get larger, the condition within the block become more heterogeneous. So if you have large number of treatment, you'll have a, a large number of blocks. So in order to keep the block homogeneous is very difficult. And other factors may limit the number of experimental units, maybe the resource or the experimental size. Uh, nowadays, breeding lines are tested in the micro varietal trials at research stations and uh, substation, and then evaluated at, at various uh, sites, maybe in the outstation. So these trials determine one, the suitability, two, the adaptability, and three, the disease response of those selected varieties or genotypes. And mostly these experiments are used the or the experiment is conducted by using the randomized completely block design or RCBD. However, Using such type of design in such condition is uh, very risky because in the large number of treatment maintaining homogeneity uh, within the block is uh, very difficult. So under such circumstances, varietal effects are estimated with less precision as the residual or the error mean square will be larger than actually it should be. So to get rid of such condition and uh, in order to increase the efficiency of overall research uh, activity, the incomplete block design are used as alternative and the best strategy. So uh, the incomplete block design, uh, the reason why we select incomplete block design are it gives a better chance of adhering the homogeneity or the homogeneous conditions what within the blocks and allowing recovering uh, information through the interblock analysis through the uh, interblock analysis and uh, this interblock analysis help to improve the efficiency of the research output or the research activity so in this regard the Patterson and William developed a generalized lattice design called as uh, alpha lattice, uh, as alpha uh, lattice design, which are more concerned about the condition of the research area and the number of experimental units available. So the principle, as you know, that the principle of uh, experimental design is minimizing or reduction of experimental error is. Uh, the critical point that deal with the principle of any experimental design and it is achieved through uh, blocking so uh, reduction of experimental is uh, then through what through blocking so in uh, if you take an example in randomized complete block design and in the latin square design the full set of treatments are kept in each block so when the number of varieties are too large Absolutely, it is impossible to fit them uh, in one block of homogeneous experimental uh, unit. For, so, for this, the incomplete block design divides each uh, complete blocks again into uh, smaller blocks. <coughs> Sorry. So, there are uh, so many types of incomplete block design. One is the balanced incomplete block design, and the other is a partially balanced incomplete uh, block design. And uh, certainly, there is solvable uh, incomplete block uh, design. And again, also, uh, from this 
we further we can classify also lattice design. So lattice design uh, is further can classify as square root lattice design and rectangular lattice design and here alpha uh, lattice uh, design. And uh, this alpha lattice design is uh, more flexibility in choice of the blocks uh, and therefore the use of alpha lattice designs allows the adjustment of uh, treatment means for the block effects and this in turn uh, brings the benefit from the small incomplete block design which help a varietal comparison under more homogeneous condition. So the alpha lattice design also provide the effective control with a replicate uh, variability. Let's uh, give you some tips or information about alpha lattice design. One you have to use uh, when there is a large number of treatment and when the area availability is small. The second one is uh, there are no check varieties for the estimation of error. So error check within the same varieties and uh, uh, they are used to reduce the effect of within uh, complete block uh, variation. I mean, that's why this design are used uh, to reduce effect within uh, complete block variation. And alpha lattice design increases precision and uh, provide the repeatability in uh, in the trials. And uh, the design also permits the removal of incomplete block effect from the plot residuals. And lastly, it uh, alpha design maximizes the use of comparison between genotypes in the same incomplete uh, blocks. So this is. Uh, all about the uh, definition or explanation of alpha lattice design. Okay, so uh, let's back to uh, analysis. I already imported uh, my data in order to minimize uh, time. And uh, here is my data name is LAT. As you see here, it's contained uh, 86 uh, uh, rows and around 10 columns and 320 entries. So this is uh, my uh, data frame, as you can see in the screen. So there are different uh, locations. Uh, here is one, the first one is uh, Bokoji uh, location, which is found in uh, RSC. And here is the Holotag Cultural Research Center, which is found in Ethiopia. So, Let's go to our analysis and in order to do specially lattice design of our location, the following uh, packages are required. So I strictly recommend you to uh, to install if you don't have to install or if you already have, you have to call using the library function in our studio. So I imported my data. So my data name is uh, lattice uh, or lat and I converted into MEDS using a data frame LAT. So if you type this, it will help you to change your data name from LAT to MET. And let's see our head, the first six uh, uh, of our uh, data frame. Here is a Bokoji year, variety name, treatment, plot, replication block. And here are the, the three are the response variables. Then, uh, in order to convert into factor, uh, here is a variety name, the treatment, the replication, the block, and the location uh, should be changed into factor. So you have to use as factor. So if you use a such a method, and don't forget to write your data frame name, your data frame. So my our data frame name is uh, that, but it is converted to met. So I change it to this. So type this. And submit to your studio. Then let's see our structure. Hopefully, it's changed to <coughs> sorry to uh, factor. Yes, location is changed into factor. Treatment into factor. Replication and block are changed into factor. Then uh, uh, furthermore, you can assign also as you see here in the uh, previous uh, the head of column the column. The yield, the adjusted yield is somehow long, so it is found in the column and then I change it into a yield. Yes, I change it into yield. So to change the column, the column uh, name of your heading title, so you have to use this 
function. So tap this and submit to your studio. And again also I hear designated genotypes in the form of uh, treatment. So uh, type this and submit. So genotype will be by default which equals to uh, treatment. Then let's uh, fit a model for the individual uh, trait. So to do that, uh, you have to give any names that you want here. Here is the linear uh, model. Here is the yield that's explained by treatment plus location. And again, location uh, with treatment, location with replication, and location with replication and block, and finally indicate which uh, in which such condition is found. That means your data name here. So type this and submit to your R Studio. Then let's see the ANOVA. So the degree of freedom for the treatment is 79. Location we have two location is two, uh, and the degree of freedom is one. And the remaining thing you can get from this ANOVA and the treatment, the location, as well as the treatment and the location, and the lastly the location, replication, and blocking are uh, significantly affected. So you have to <coughs> go for the mean uh, separation. So in order to do the mean separation, you have to use the E means and the object MF is what we created here and the species uh, that is the, uh, you can categorize using the uh, treatment. So type this and submit to your studio. Yes, let's see the mean separation. So type this and submit to your studio. You will get uh, such results onto your uh, onto your uh, console. Then again, if you want to compare using the uh, control, so you have to uh, here label which which is your control. I suggest here to R uh, the control is the treatment ATE. So I give this to uh, I submit this to R Studio. So R will consider the treatment AT is a, as a control. So you have to use the contrast function and the LS is what we created here. But here is the treatment versus the control. So it's a refer. What I give here is the treatment AT is as what as a control. So type this and submit to your studio. Let's see our comparison or contrast. Yes. So just you can simply uh, look the p value. Yes, the p value. Yes, treatment one with 80, two with 80, three with 80, and up to the end. Yeah, there is, there is, there is. So we have 80 varieties and treatment 70 up to 80 varieties. You have to check their significant. For example, here is treatment 74 and 80 is significant while treatment 73 and 80 are highly significant because as p-value is uh, less than 0 0.01. So this is all about uh, an alpha lattice design over location analysis. If you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through this email uh, uh, address. And thank you for watching. Have a nice time.